get most excited about when watching Star Trek has got to be the transporter. Well, that and the off chance that Spock and Sulu might get into a fistfight, and then during the fistfight accidentally kiss, and then accidentally like it, and then accidentally start angrily making out, and suddenly there'd be a banoffee pie there that somebody had just transported by accident. Did I mention banoffee pie is my favorite? Hi, I'm Joanne and I'm a scientist. Today we're here to talk about the Star Trek transporter. When somebody is beamed up, they're essentially converted into energy, shot at the speed of light to their desired location, and reassembled to exactly their previous form. Supposing we did live in a world where you could bypass the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, find a way to store the data involved in recreating a human, and take a bald man in a position of authority seriously, breaking somebody down to energy essentially means you're killing them. The awkward truth about teleportation is that we simply don't know what would happen to the bits of us that science can't measure. Are we more than just the sum of our parts? What about our character, our spirit, our essence, our soul, that certain something that makes us more than just a sack of cells, electrolytes, and chemicals? Would we lose a bit of that each time? Well, I don't feel like I've lost my soul. I guess you wouldn't feel anything though. I think I'm a bit hungry. Oh look, my favorite! Teleportation is harmless good fun, like my new BFF lettuce. And that's the awkward truth.